This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 picks for custom Windows cursors. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to install Windows custom cursor. So this thing is quite simple. So the first thing is to go to the site that provides you with the custom cursors. In this case, this is DeviantArt. So most of the cursors that I'm going to show you today are from DeviantArt. So here's the question, how do you get the file from DeviantArt? And the answer is quite simple. Make sure that you have an account from DeviantArt and then you will be able to get the stuff from DeviantArt, of course. Let's say, for example, let me show you how to install this cursor that, that I have right here. So the first thing is that you will click here to the download arrow and this should get you the zip file. And then you will go ahead to your downloads folder and uh, right click and then you will click here, extract all click extract and uh, as you can see here we are in the extracted folder so this cursor has an actual options to be able to choose from dark to the light and of course you can install both of them if you want to so in this case i will install the dark version so i will click dark folder and then here you have the install file so right click on the install file click show more options and then click install then click open click yes and this should install the cursor and here we have the mouse properties so how do you change the mouse pointer look so basically it's quite simple go to the scheme select here the windows 11 cursors dark version 2 by jepre creations this is the one that we just installed click on this one click apply click yes and click ok and as you can see cursor successfully changed. So if you want to install any other cursor, the procedure is basically the same as I just show you. So this is the first cursor and let's go straight to the second one. And this second one is basically on the GitHub and how to get the file from GitHub is also quite simple as well. So make sure that you go to the releases and then you have here the source code. So you will click on the source code and here we have the zip file for the cursor. Click extract to and then we are going to extract to the downloads folder. Go back to your downloads folder and here click on the extracted folder. And here we also have the two options, basically Sierra and newer or El Capitan and before. I'll go for Sierra and newer. And here we also have the two options, no shadow and with shadow. I like it with shadow, so I'll click that. And then I will pick the size, which is normal. So basically the procedure right now is the same as any other cursor. So right click on the install file, click show more options, click install, click yes and then go to the pointers, select the macOS cursor with shadow newer, click OK, click yes, and as you can see, the cursor just changed. So right now, let me show you how the other cursors actually look. Before we continue, let's hear a quick message from today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes that we can take to level up our careers. I've been looking at the class from Polymatter called Make Great YouTube Thumbnails and in this class I was most interested on improving my thumbnail design. I would suggest if you are interested to learn something new to join Skillshare community and then for example set yourself a goal to watch a few classes and then you will see how it goes from 
from there. If you have Skillshare Premium Membership, you will have unlimited access to all Skillshare classes and additional features such as offline viewing. So if you want to learn something new or level up your game, Skillshare is offering us one month free for the first 1000 people that use the link provided in video description down below or my code Tech Enthusiast. And with all that being said and shown, if you enjoyed today's content about the cursors, make sure that you smash the like button because this will really help with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button as well and join the Tech Enthusiast community. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.